Beginning on page 68 in our textbook, we're going to import data from an Excel worksheet. I've opened the invoice voice table to determine how many records I currently have in the table. I currently have four. In order to start the import process, I'm going to close this table. Then I will navigate to the External Data tab, look for the Import group, and click Excel. When the first screen in the Get External Data Excel Spreadsheets Wizard opens, it will ask us to find the source of the data. In this case, the data will, is stored on the P drive. So I'll navigate to the P drive. I'll navigate to the BTS folder in the P drive. I will then locate the BTS 168 Access Grids folder. Inside of it, the Student Data folder. Inside it, the level, oh, the level 01. Inside of that, Tutorials. And according to the specifications in my book, I will choose the Invoices spreadsheet, and I will click Open. This returns us to the screen, the Import screen, and I make decisions here about do I want to import the data as a new table, do I want to append this data to an existing table, or do I simply want to link to the table. Our instructions on page 69, steps 7 and 8, tell us that we want to append this data to an existing table. So I will click the option to append a copy of the records to a table, click the drop-down box, and ensure that I select the proper table. In this case, it's TBO invoice underscore your initial. I'll select it, and I'll click OK. The next screen opens, shows us the data, and at the top portion would show me if I had more than one worksheet available in this in this workbook. There's only one. It's selected, so I won't make any selections here. I'll simply click Next. The next screen simply shows me that I have a heading row in my workbook or in my worksheet. I'll click Next. This screen verifies that I'm going to import this data to the TBO invoice underscore initials workbook. Excuse me, um, table. And that is the right one. That's the one it tells us to import to on page 69, step 8. So I'll click Finish. The next screen comes up asking if I want to save these import steps. If this particular process is the same process I'd like to do over and over, I would then save these steps. But in this case, it's a one-time process, so I don't need to save the steps. I'll click Close. So I'm going to open, use the shutter bar to open my navigation pane. I'll open up my invoices table and I will ensure that my records have been imported. I see now that I have 176 records in my table and if you look at page AC71 in your textbook you'll see that that matches the number of records that is shown in figure 2-28.